Here we are with a review of the Nest Thermostat E. This is essentially the same thing as the original Nest, however, as you can see, plastic instead of metal. And the screen is lower resolution. It's behind kind of a film that uh, makes it a little cloudy like you can see. And essentially that just makes it hide the fact it's lower resolution. You can still set your eco temperatures, you still have your target visible, and you still have your ETA to reach a temperature. Pressing on it gives you your menu options. Heat, cool, heat in, cool, eco, off. Fan, I actually really like this feature, so if the house is just stuffy, you can run the fan without running the AC, and you can run that for a duration of time. You can pick your duration here, like such. If you go into your settings, you can schedule your fan, check your energy history, and go by day. And it's pretty neat to see how many hours your system actually ran during the day. I know we've had a pretty drastic reduction. Go back to settings here. You can set your schedule right in the device. You see I have multiple points set every day. Actually need to delete that point. Hmm. Looks like someone's been playing with the thermostat. <laughs> but you can see how easy this is. So I just programmed the thermostat for a week in all of 10, 15 seconds there. Go back to the menu again here. You can lock the thermostat so no one plays with it. Your eco settings. This is when you're away from the home or if you turn it to eco mode. It will keep the house between these minimum and maximum temperatures. Home away assist. This is when it detects you by either motion sensing or by your phone. I recommend a combination of both, unless you have large pads, then you probably want to just go with your phone. Nest Sense. This is the smart side of Nest, such as if the sun hits your thermostat, it will adjust for that so it's not going to air condition your house until the thermostat's cool. It's going to do it until the air is cool. Leaf, airwave, early on, all sorts of neat, efficient options there. Reminders that will remind you when your air filter is due for replacement. Wake display when you pass by or when you tap. If you have a low power situation, making this when you tap will help with your battery. I have plenty of power, so I have it as I pass by. Quick sounds on off. You can go Fahrenheit or Celsius for the uh, metric people out there placement downstairs so it knows where it is in the app. That was set up. You have to have your account set with Nest. Location, language, date, time, and then here's your setup area. It is pretty neat under technical info, power. You can actually keep track of your battery on your Nest, your network, everything here. It does automatically update its software. I'll hit done here to go back to normal. I'll show the app here in just a moment. So here is the Nest app on Android. Home and away mode is that easy. So if I hit away mode right here. See how quickly that responds? Granted, we are on Wi-Fi, but that's still very quickly. Go back home. And you can adjust each individual thermostat. And 
you have your same settings in the app as you do on the device. You also have a little more in-depth history here. You can tap on each individual day and see exactly when your temperature points were and how much your system ran and what time of the day it was running during. The nest itself is just a press fit to the wall. You'll see here on the back side is a connection. There's also a charging port. So if for some reason you have a long time power outage, you can recharge the nest through that charging port. That appears to be a standard micro USB. And as for the wiring, you can see it's pressed down terminals. Very straightforward. The Nest Thermostat E has fewer terminals than the original Nest, but 80% of people are using these terminals. So this is a valid budget option. You can see the battery in there has a screen still running nonetheless, even though it's unhooked. And it's definitely saved me some power in my house. Hope this helps.